now there hasn't been a chatbot that can really rival ChatGPT. But can Google's new model take them on? Based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. Well, this is Gemini. It's a multimodal AI model that Google says is much more powerful than any existing model. Basically, how ChatGPT is based on GPT, Google's Bard as well as Pixel 8 Pro will be integrated with Gemini. Now, Gemini is not just about text. It integrates diverse data types, offering natural interactions. It even recognizes images and it speaks in real time. So it's basically multimodal. What if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. Gemini has been optimized for three sizes. The first one is Pro, which will be integrated into Bard and is useful for scaling across a bunch of tasks. The second one is Nano, which will be used in Pixel 8 Pro and is optimized for other device and tasks as well. The third one being Ultra, which is yet to be launched and which will be able to take on much more complex tasks. Now, why does Google say that this is much more powerful than any of the other models? Well, they say that Gemini Ultra's performance exceeds any of the other current results on the 30 out of 32 academic benchmarks, which is widely used in researching as well as developing large language models. Also, it apparently is the first model which outperformed even human experts on the MMLU, which is the Massive Multitask Language Understanding. This basically uses a combination of 57 subjects like that of math, physics, history, law and even ethics to test the world for its knowledge as well as problem-solving abilities. Seven years into our journey as an AI-first company, we are at an exciting inflection point. We have an opportunity to make AI even more helpful for people, for businesses, for communities, for everyone. So does this have any real-world applications for you and me so far? Well, Bard has already started using the specifically tuned version of the Gemini Pro in English and this gives it more advanced reasoning, planning and even understanding. In 2024, Google says that it will introduce Bard Advance which will give users access to the more advanced models and also better capabilities than it is using in the Gemini Ultra. And unlike ChatGPT4, which is ChatGPT's most advanced model, Gemini is apparently always learning and improving and can incorporate new information in real time and also give data which is up to date. Also, Gemini Pro will be integrated into BARD and across Google applications, which means that millions of users will be able to access it and it will be free. ChatGPT's free version, in fact, offers GPT 3.5 and in 6 out of the 8 benchmarks, Gemini Pro has already surpassed GPT 3.5. This makes it the potentially most powerful free AI chatbot in the world. And it will, of course, take some time before we can see its true capabilities. But do you think Google's new offering will stump ChatGPT? Let us know in the comments section below.